Welcome back to a brand new Coffee Tech Break with Jan. Good to see you back on my channel again. I think I got another great video for you lined up because today I want to take you through live through the unboxing of a brand new box which I just received from Netgear. And this should include the 4250 Netgear switch, the small form factor network switch. And I wanted to show you what is inside the box. This is one of the switches which will be required if you're gonna build a modular room with multiple cameras, microphones, etc. And so you're gonna work with the studio at the G62, or you're gonna work with Studio X line or the V line. As soon as you want to build those devices out with additional camera, you will come into this area. Let me grab some tools and show you what is in there. Really nice. So there's another box wrapped around it, and this is the final box all right let's see what is inside removing all the stickers some nice information in there we got here some information to where you can find the installation guide we know that we got here this is for the warranty regular information all right also clear we got here an installation guide. Nice, very nice. But we will do that in the next video. I just want to show you today the unboxing uh, of what is inside. And it is a really nice switch. Let me first take the switch out and I will take you through it in a sec. Let me show you that quickly. We got power supply, 130 watt, with nice with the Euro cable coming along. So we got that. We have um, USB C to USB A. That will be a console cable. See right here. So that comes along in the package. We got brackets. Of course, we got brackets, so that will probably be to put it under the desk arrow or behind the screen. So here we got also two brackets, and it even has some 3M taping underneath it. So this is really nice. I think probably to put it behind the screen or under the table, or uh, but that's it. And there's a UK power supply. So we got, in my case, and it probably could be different uh, per region, but I got a Euro cable, which works for me. And there's a UK cable also coming along with this packet. So really nice. I can use it in more regions. And this is it. Well, some screws coming along. So also always good. I guess this is really it. This is all what's inside the package. So now I want to take you through the switch, the Netflix switch, the 4250. And this is really nice, small and slick. So it is protected with sticker. Remove all that. So here you go really nice so this is let's see eight ports eight ports ready to use poe like plus so you see here 30 watt per port really nice and you got here an uplink port and a fiber uplink port which you're able to use so you could add also there a fiber if you want to connect it to another switch 
What do we have more? I see here there is a console. Uh, so I'll probably show you that later in one of the uh, the next video sessions. So we got a reset button. I see here some indicator lights like power, uh, buoy, really nice. But it is a really small design, and I will put all the like the measurements and the size and the specs. I will put it also in the description as usual because that is always much uh, appreciated. On the side, what do we have? A nice flow through of the air uh, for the uh, for the cooling. On the back, what do we have there? Here you will find some other items. So we got here OOB port. We have here USB storage, probably something for logging or maybe software versions. We got here Kensington lock because this is a sort of desktop version and so you're able to use this with uh yeah put it under the desk for example or anything i think this is a really nice one and then what you see also here is earth if you need to connect it for uh, for earth then we got here some specifications about serial number etc and we have here the power connector and we got on the other side same thing underneath got here all the information about the device and so serial number uh, the model number etc power usage what you also see here is two nice holes which you're probably able to use it if you want to use it behind the screen or something else so it's really really flexible there's no fans inside this is i think what is so powerful with the 4250 uh, this desktop Edition, eh, this desktop version it's fanless so there is no fans inside so it's really silent and yeah it's made to put it into a conference room for example eh, or uh, put it under the desk eh, where you're working so it's really flexible to use and take it anywhere i mean for me this is really perfect because i'm gonna do labs with this demonstrations workshops uh, with uh, cameras, IP mics. So, what is important? How does this work eh? in combination with Poly? Now, as you've seen eh, in one of my earlier videos, there's a lot of talk about the modular room set from the Poly side. Now, we have some cameras which are now IP enabled. For example, the E70. So, you will be able to connect example with your g62 box and you will be able to connect then this camera huh? like to the switch and the switch also to the port of for example where eh, you got the g62 here we have the g62 and eh? now you got here that lm port but that is only one port and so you're not able to connect uh, multiple devices there so to be able to do that, you need to add the Netgear switch and the 4250. There is specific configuration and firmware which is available from the Poly side. You can download that from Polylens. And I had on the community side of my YouTube channel, I created some of that information, but in the future expect a lot of more videos on this uh, to take you step by step all through this now not only cameras ip connected there but uh, we got the e60 we got the e70 but also you can use the ip mics from poly so i don't know how familiar these are but we already use these today with the g7500 so you can use now up to three with the G62, you can use it with those devices. Connect it up to the switch. We also have ceiling mics. Here you go. So ceiling mics, you can also use these maximum up to three in combination with the switch. And you can use that in combination with the G62. Now, what you've also seen is there's a brand new range released last week, the seven second generation of the video bars now the 
X72, which is one of those new bars, has an LLM port. And the X72 has a similar port as the G62. So that LLM port. So it has a LAN and it has an LLM port. You can do the same thing with the X72 using that LLM port. So it creates a really flexible environment with IP connected devices, which if you ask me, is really the next step for your modular room. I mean, USB connected devices, uh, that was and it still is there, but I think using LAN and connected that up to a switch, it has the power and it, there's no separate power supply needed for all your devices. You can connect it just up to the switch and everything will power up through the Netgear switch. Now, what makes the Netgear switch unique to use that in this environment is that it's got predefined profiles. That makes it very easy to use. And most switches has that IT admin interface where you need to configure all those uh, video stuff uh, like IGMP, etc. Well, these devices are made for video networks and uh, MDI, AES67, uh, Dante. It's all predefined. You can just define them for different ports and you're able to use that. And this is why this is also the supported switch in combination with poly devices, uh, with the G62, with the X72, if you want to build it out with additional microphones, that makes it all very, very easy. And as it is fanless, and you're able to use this in your conference room. Again, I don't want to take too much time because otherwise we'll run out of coffee. But this was just a quick video to show you an overview of the unboxing of the Netgear, the 4250, and the PD version, the desktop version, some of the accessories that comes along. And uh, yeah, expect a lot of more videos. Eh? Of course, with the installation, there's this predefined image eh, and configuration from the Poly site, which you can download from PolyLens. But I will also talk that through eh, one of the upcoming uh, videos. So expect uh, more videos about this towards like 2024, but also in 2025. And I'm going to do a lot more hands on stuff with the poly equipment uh, to show you how you can use it now hopefully you uh, enjoyed it as usual uh, i will put all the references and information uh, i will make sure i will put that in the comments if you got any questions uh, for me just let me know I'll try to answer it uh, always as good as possible and uh, as usual uh, i'm already looking forward and uh, to see you back in uh, the next video